Hello everyone! Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed! Dun dun dun! Guys, this is the first movie of scary but not too scary October. Or as my brother called it, you're not gonna sleep October. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> because as you know, the scariest movies I've seen have been on this channel. The Sixth Sense, Aliens, and Aliens. I can't. I oh, can't. Silence of the Lambs. I can't. And Psycho. <laughs> But these are going to be a little scarier, I think, but not too scary. Are we okay with this? <laughs> I know there are cries for me to watch The Exorcist, but I'm not going to. I can't sacrifice my soul for that, for views. <laughs> I'm very easily affected by scary movies and quite sensitive and jumpy, if you haven't noticed. So this should be interesting. Tonight I'm watching The Shining. I feel like I'm starting off with a bang. I think it is like very famous and iconic so I thought that I should watch this even though I'm very nervous. It's funny though because some commenters have said it's not scary at all you'll be fine and some are like are you crazy you're gonna need therapy. So <sighs> I'm nervous but I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> if not I honestly will stop the movie. I know Jack Nicholson's in it. I think the only other movie I've seen him in is As Good As It Gets, which I love. I know he like puts his head through a window or something because it's on the cover, like, you know, scary. Like, subscribe, bell, Patreon, if you want. Let's get started. This looks like Montana in the fall. Someone told me I need to stop psyching myself out so much. It's probably true. 30 seconds in and there's just some like ominous music and my heart is racing. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna be that bad. Jack Nicholson. I love Jack Nicholson. He's always at the Lakers games. The Shining. Seems like a word art font. Is this in Montana? I swear I've been on this road. Oh, I didn't know it was based on a Stephen King novel. I've loved all the ones I've watched that are based off Stephen King novels. Stanley Kubrick. The interview. Oh, he looks so young and thin. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Allman. I made the trip in three and a half hours. Oh, that's a very good sign. He seems very normal. Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? It'll be lots of fun. I guess so. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. It always takes a little time to make new friends. I guess so. Oh. What about Tony? I don't want to call them Mrs. Dunch. We're all going to have a real good time. Please don't tell me kids are involved. Jack is uh, going to take care of the Overlook for us this winter. Our season here runs to October 30th. Then we close down completely until the following May. This site was chosen for its seclusion and scenic beauty. Well, it's certainly got plenty of that. Physically, it's not a very demanding job. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is a tremendous sense of isolation. Your wife and son, how do you think they'll take to it? They'll love it. Oh, that's who I saw. There's one other thing I think we should talk about. Been known to give a few people second thoughts about the job. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued too. Charles Grady came up here with his wife and two little girls. He must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok oh my gosh. and uh, he killed his family with an axe. He killed his... That will never, ever, ever make sense to me. That is uh, quite a story. People can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where something like that actually happened. Uh, yeah. And that's not gonna happen with me. <sighs> okay. Do you think Dad'll get the job? You're a dead. Okay, I did not do scary kids. Tony, why don't you want to go to the hotel? I don't know. You do too, no. Tell me. Don't want to. Okay. Please. Uh. What? No! No, 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 no. I can't with the kids. Kids can scare you to death. Did Tony's first appearance happen to coincide with your arrival here? No, about 
the time we put him in nursery school. And then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while. What sort of injury? My husband had been drinking and grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. It's, it's just the sort of thing you do a hundred times with a child. My husband just used too much strength and he injured Danny's arm. Something good did come out of it all because he said, I'm never going to touch another drop. That better be true. If they're stranded up there, what if there's a medical emergency of some kind? Can they call people? Have an ambulance? It's so weird to see him not buckled up. Wasn't the kid. one here that the Donner Party got snowbound? What was the Donner Party? They were a party of settlers. They got snowbound one winter in the mountains. They had to resort to cannibalism in order to stay alive. Okay, you're telling your child that. Don't worry, Mom. I know all about cannibalism. I saw it on TV. See? saw it on the television. His eyebrows. Okay. Nothing bad's happening right now. This is good. God, I've never seen anything like this before. We had uh, four presidents who stayed here. Royalty? All the best people. No. Oh my gosh. Please no. I thought this wasn't about possession demon stuff. This is our famous hedge maze. It's quite an attraction around here. Hedge maze. Something scary is gonna happen in there later. This is our gold ballroom. I'll say. This is my nightmare. Oh, I bet you we could really have a good party in this room, huh? This is Nick Halloran, our head chef. Sorry says they're gonna take care of the overlook for us this winter. It is a beautiful hotel. I'll see you later, then. Bye, darling. They seem like they have a cute marriage. This whole place is such an enormous maze. I feel like they'll have to leave a trail of breadcrumbs every time I come in. Now, this is where we keep all of our meat. You like lamb, Doc? How do you know we call him Doc? Well, I guess I probably heard you call him that. What's up, Doc? <laughs> What's going on? Is this place haunted? Don't, don't, don't be those little girls again. How do you like some ice cream, Doc? Like my hair is standing on its edge. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? Please don't. Please don't be a psycho. My grandmother and I could hold conversations without ever opening our mouths. She called it shiny. Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who says you ain't supposed to? Holy crap. Tony. Oh boy, it was my mouth. It's like I go to sleep and he shows me things. But when I wake up, I can't remember everything. Has Tony ever told you anything about this place? Is he nice or horrible? He just has an ability or something? When something happens, it can leave a trace of itself behind. Things that people who shine can see. I'm gonna ask this, and I know no one can answer. Is this based well, on a true story? Two, three, seven. Just get room 237, ain't you? Is that where it happened? There ain't nothing in room 237. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway, so stay out. A month later? Okay. So what I was gonna say, is there people, like is this idea of shining the director, or Stephen King, make it up? Or are there people that say they can do this? <laughs> I know it's doing this to build suspense. Oh, I thought someone was gonna pop out at me. Good morning, hon. It's about 11.30. Why'd he just do that? How about taking me for a walk after you finish your breakfast? Well, I suppose I ought to try to do some writing first. It's really nice up here, isn't it? I love it. I'm very scared of him, even though he's given me no reason to be. When we first came up here, I thought it was kind of scary. When I came up here for my interview, it was as though I'd been here before. As though I knew what was going to be around every corner. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> she seems like a good mom. Please stay together. Please stay together. Please stay together. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Scary music. Very scary music. Mentally prepare, mentally prepare, mentally prepare. Oh my gosh. They are really building the suspense here. What's happening? Freak, oh gosh. Stop doing that. It's just getting me all. Don't 
don't. Don't go to the room. Come on, Danny. Stay on the bike. Stay on the bike. Please don't. You guys, can I not watch this part? Why the scary music? Where the forecast said it's gonna snow tonight. What do you want me to do about it? Don't be so grouchy. Let me explain something to you. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. And it will then take you time to get back to where I was. Whenever I'm in here, what the fuck do you hear me doing in here? When what? I'm in here, that means that I am working. Is happening. And why isn't she slapping him in the face? Get the fuck out of here. cry for how mean he was to her right there. I know you Snowed. I think that means they're stuck. Ah! Oh my goodness. But why? Like what, what happened? Something about the air here, the hotel, the trail it left behind that that guy was talking about? Oh, please don't tell me they don't have phone access. I know it. She needs to leave. This is KDK-12. Oh. KDK-1. Hi, how are you folks getting on up there? Oh, we're just fine. But our telephones don't seem to be doing too well. Most winters, they stay that way until spring. Boy, this storm is really something, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's one of the worst we've had for years. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, mother. <sighs> Oh my gosh, 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 nope, 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 nope. I'm scared. Remember what Mr. Howland said? It's just like pictures in a book, Danny. It isn't real. Okay. It isn't real. It isn't real. I'm watching a movie. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Not right now. Daddy's asleep. I won't make a sound, I promise I'll tiptoe. I don't know, I have a good feeling about this. I hate him. I hate this. I hate everything. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Come here for me first. Please be a nice dad. Why does he look psychotic? Dad? You like this hotel? I love it. I wish we could stay here forever. Ever. No! You would never hurt mommy and me, would you? I love you, Danny. Love you more than anything else. I'll never do anything to hurt you. Never. Holy crap. This is not nice for them to build and build and build and build and then my threshold's getting higher and higher. Now I'm building up here. This is all part of the plan. This is what the movie's supposed to do. Shut up. Mom? He's just a little boy. Leave him alone. Don't look over there. I'm not gonna. 2.37, are you freaking kidding me? No. Mom, are you in there? I can't. Oh, they did it again. I wanna cry. What was that? Oh my gosh, we're really in a creepy basement right now. This is horrifying. I dreamed that I killed you and Danny. But I didn't just kill you. I killed them in little pieces. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Did he hear that? Hmm. Danny? <gasps> what happened to your neck? You did this to him. You son of a bitch! How could you? Did he do that to him? I have goosebumps everywhere. Okay. He's having a psychotic break. Would this have happened anywhere in isolation or is it something about the hotel? Yeah, I think you would drink. A little slow tonight, isn't it? 
<laughs> what would it be? You She's slip me a it. bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. Holy crap. How are things going, Mr. Torrance? Just a little problem with the uh, old sperm bank upstairs. Women can't live with them, can't live without them. He used to call his wife a sperm bank. Words. Please stop doing those your eyebrows. Oh my gosh. Why is he so good at being psychotic? I never laid a hand on him, goddammit. But that bitch, she'll never let me forget what happened. Collarbone thing. Or the shoulder. I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident. And it was three goddamn years ago. A momentary loss of muscular coordination. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone else in the hotel with us. She tried to straighten up Danny. He went up into one of the bedrooms. He saw this crazy woman in the bathroom. Which room was it? Oh my gosh. What the frick? Oh. Why? What's he doing? He was so friendly. What? <gasps> this is room 237. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Ew, ew, don't smile, you psychopath. Are we getting a full nude shot here? Yep, yeah, that's that's uncalled for. Can I bloop bloop this part? Ew, mother, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I need to pause, I need to pause, I need to pause. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, there's still an hour left. Holy crap. I feel like I want a scary movie that's like like a roller coaster, like it's super scary, but it's still fun. This isn't fun. I made my husband Ben come in because <laughs> I can't. I literally can't. I thought I had toughened up, but this is too scary. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Say something. They don't want to see me. He's here for moral support and to remind me that it's not real. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, Why? Get ready for a naked corpse. Okay, I'm ready. Oh gosh. Oh, poor Danny. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Him and Danny were like connected somehow. They're both like having a seizure. Oh, this poor woman. Did you find anything? Nothing at all. Why is he lying? You went into the room 237? Was it just Danny yes, who did. was seeing that? What about those bruises on his neck? I think he did it to himself. There is no other explanation. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh mother <laughs> So fucking typical of you. I finally have a chance to accomplish something. I am not gonna oh let you fuck this up. Please go help them. I've been trying to make an urgent phone call up there. I'd sure appreciate it if you'd give them a call on your radio just to see if everything's okay. I'll be glad to do that, sir. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. He's hallucinating again. Hi, Lord. Been away, but now I'm back. Urban on the rocks. That'll do it. Your money's no good here. Orders from the house. I'm the kind of man likes to know who's buying their drinks, Lloyd. It's not a matter that concerns you, Mr. Torrance. At least not at this point. Anything you say, Lloyd. Sorry, sir. I've been an awful mess of your jacket, sir. Let's see if we can improve this with a little water, sir. What do they call you around here, Jeezy? Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. Grady? Yes, sir. Is his name supposed to mean something? Weren't you once the caretaker here? Fine then, sir. Married man, are you? I have a wife and two daughters, sir. Hmm? He's the guy from the story. I saw your picture in the newspapers. You, uh, chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Then you blew your brains out. 
his face. I don't have any recollection of that at all. You were the caretaker here. Oh but gosh. you are the caretaker. You've always been the caretaker. What? Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation? No. What is going on? He oh. is connected to the... Your son has a very great talent. He is attempting to use that very talent against your will. How does he know this? How would he know he's bringing in an outside party? He's got this gift too? It's his mother. She uh, interferes. His facial expression. Perhaps they need a good talking to. Perhaps a bit more. My girls didn't care for the overlook at first, but I corrected them so. <laughs> oh, here's Jack won't come with us. Just have to tell him that we're going by ourselves. That's all there is to it. Red Rob! Danny? Red Rob! Danny, what's the matter, honey? Red Rum! Oh my gosh. What's Red Rum? And he's not here, Mrs. Torrance. Oh. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Joe, that's not nice. <sighs> Don't. KDK1 calling KDK12. Are you receiving me? This is KDK1 calling KDK12. Are you receiving me? I called a while ago about the folks at the Overlook Hotel. Uh, we tried to contact them several times by radio, but they didn't answer. help them oh he's their only hope i'm pretty sure the dad is gonna kill his family if he doesn't get there in time oh, she must be so stressed at home. listen to me for a minute will you i'm just gonna go and talk to daddy for a few minutes yes, Mrs. they need to get out of here where is he all oh, work and no play makes jack a dull boy Once they've been here, he's supposed to be working. How do you like it? <laughs> I think we should discuss Danny. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. When do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. I hate him so much. Have you ever had a single moment's thought about my responsibilities? You have the slightest idea what a moral and ethical principle is, do you? Stay away from me. <gasps> Please. Wendy. Stay away. Light of my life. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains. Stay away from me. Put the bat down, Wendy. Stay away. I mean, you. My goodness gracious. She needs to chain him up. Put him in the freezer. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Oh, poor girl. Baby, I think you hurt my head real bad. I need a doctor. Don't. Don't let him trick you. I'm gonna go. You've got a big surprise coming to you. What? You're not going anywhere. Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. Go check it out. What are they gonna do? Please don't be dead. It's Grady, Mr. Torres. The person who murdered his wife and two little girls when he was the caretaker here. How did this happen? Like, what event set him off? <laughs> no. How? That's not possible. Come on, mister. Did that ghost person really let him out? If he was just inside his head, it's not possible. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so creepy. <laughs> I thought he was 
Make sure you utilize your shield. The crap is red rum. Bad rum. Bad rum. Bad rum. Bad rum. Bad rum. Bad rum. Wherever you are. I can't get out. I'm out. Try harder. Try harder to get out. <laughs> get out. Oh my gosh. Get away from the door. Oh, this is it, isn't it? Here's Johnny. Danny can communicate with him. They can talk in each other's heads. You he can tell them. Hello? This is their only hope. Anybody here? Hello? Mentally prepare, mentally prepare. Mentally prepare. <laughs> oh, my hair is horrible. I hate Oh my gosh, he's going into the maze. And we will never be doing a corn maze again. This is our father. Oh no. Why is she seeing this now? I'm right behind you! What is happening? Oh, he's smart. Please no, please no, please no. No, 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 no. Blood? Or is that red rum? Whatever that means. Dana! This poor boy. He's never gonna recover. What an evil, sick, twisted, disgusting person. Please have the keys in it. 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 <laughs> Yelling? Nonsense? Make it, make it, make it. They made it? so bad nope 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 <laughs>
could not handle it. <laughs> I called my brother right before starting this. I'm like, how scary is this? He's like, it's really not that bad. He lied to me. <laughs> You know what's weird? I felt way more scared the first half, just like that building suspense, and then that disgusting bathtub stuff and the little girls. I can't even explain it. Um, why is Jack Nicholson the creepiest person in the whole world? I don't even want him to be a Lakers fan anymore. I never look at him the same way. Those eyebrows are going to haunt my nightmares. I think that's the scariest one I'm gonna have to watch. In my mind, I'm already crossing movies off the schedule. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna be okay. Maybe Carly Schwash was like, no, she could definitely not handle it, but I can handle it, I think. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the actual movie. I thought it was all gonna come together in the end. And maybe it did and I just don't get it. Like, I, obviously he was there in 1921. And he said like, it's like deja vu. I knew what was gonna be around every corner. Was Jack a ghost? Was Jack consumed? by the hotel, and that's why he was in that picture all those years ago. What am I not getting? How was he in that picture? That greedy guy said to him, you've always been the caretaker. Was this premeditated? Did he plan to bring his family to the hotel? Was it the evil hotel or was he evil? And what was with the scary ghost at the end, that bear or? I didn't look too closely, hands down. The scariest movie I've ever seen change plans guys we are going to do Disney movie October <laughs> very not scary spooky October hocus pocus that's like my limit maybe okay what was the red rum oh and that little kid speaking in that voice that was the creepiest thing ever that poor mother oh my gosh they are going to spend the rest of their lives their fictional lives recovering from this but really, what is it about horror movies or scary movies? Is it just the rush? I'm gonna go watch three episodes of Ted Lasso to forget everything I just saw. Thank you for watching with me. Don't worry, I'm gonna be okay. And yes, my husband is very unhelpful. He was trying to have my reaction be authentic and so not to like interject, but <laughs> despite scaring me on purpose, it was helpful to have him here. Okay, this is probably the longest outro ever because I cannot collect my thoughts. Wait a second, one more thing. Why did he say, here's Johnny? Who's Johnny? <gasps> did I miss something about that? Right, he said, here's Johnny. Anyways, okay, 